mess with this because this is how Cloud9 can get back in if they regain control of the money. So you're hoping the Mac 10s oh, can no. close the distance. Shiro was caught with nades out as well, but he still comes in with the first. Nafani holding onto the cave. His teammates oh. overran, but Buster locks it in from the long angle. Buster putting oh. on a show, stepping oh. up, tries all he can to save this round. This is the guy. It's left to Rops. He has been lights out here on Ancient. Looking for a fight, he saw a leg in cave. That is a lot of info with the nades out from CT. He knows where both players are. Rops is a dangerous man to give the info to. He's evaluating this, keeping a note of the mental timings, expecting the swing. And even though he's looking the right way, he can't win it. Cloud9 onto double digits. It's their only chance for Lexex being thrown in from Brokey. Flash is the last piece of the puzzle, and Carrigan's going to slot it in place. Nice shot. Man, if he can be the one to open this, oh. if Carrigan can be the one to turn the tides, God only knows what that does for FaZe. He's been quiet in this game, has the captain. Having a lead from the shadows, a hell of a lot, right? Normally the first man gone in these rounds. There was no presence on middle. FaZe just wanted to take the signal, the message that they might be mid, but they weren't. Cloud9 defense was in position, but at the end of the day, in Counter-Strike, sometimes it just comes down to who clicks first on the head of the opponent. That's exactly what Carrigan did. Cloud9 are fully falling for this as well. They, they are leaning heavy over oh towards dear. B. They don't have that info. They don't know. And so, Shiro. once again, the saving grace has to be Axile. And with Timing. this room given up oh. in red, it could all go downhill for Cloud9. Shiro deals with Carrigan. Axile traded. No twists with a double. He's looking for his second Intel Grand Slap. He's trying to be the difference maker to find 15, to find match point with so much on the line. Twist has answered the call, battled back into the three on three. And now he sits, waiting for Rops's contact. Sure, Rops falls out of the round, but Twist is still a threat out behind the big box. Another on the tally. Twist is on a mission! Four out of five, one more to find. And these 1v1s have been where FaZe thrive. Bates the shot, Nafani's oh. moving in, but it's Twist! The man who could make history tonight looks to show up an ace to find match point for FaZe Clan. Winning his player, looking to take to the stage in all his glory. Where did this come from, Twist? What an incredible second wave from Twist. And he had the words in the interview. Anytime someone put a microphone in front of his head, he said, listen, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make history. I'm going to look at the Inter Grand Slam. I'm going to grab it for the second time. He wasn't shying away from the pressure. He wasn't downplaying the narrative. Yeah, they want to end this. They want to end this now. No more second chances for Cloud9. This has to be it. This has to be the, the multi-kill round of dreams. And it doesn't happen with Axile dead. That advantage with FaZe. They can feel this. That realization is starting to set in. That in a moment's time, they might have finally caught this elusive trophy that they've been chasing to find the Intel Grand Slam. Ray, wow. the hammer's been slammed down by Thor himself. And now it's just Buster and Hobbit left up in this one, but they can't find a thing. FaZe Clan doing it for. They pick up the trophy and it just all starts to break down. They realize they've done it. Elation, that trepidation, that anxiety, that all subsides because tonight they are champions. Over a year, 392 days since FaZe lifted the trophy back at Katowice. They take a Cologne, two grueling seasons of Pro League, a major to boot, and the Intel Grand Slam with a million dollars on the line. FaZe Clan, the champions of ESL Pro League Season 17 and the winners of the Intel Grand!